got sealed ball bearings in it. I don't understand. It's an older motor, but it has sealed ball bearings. I'm pretty sure it's old anyways. Sitting in a shed forever. These bearings are pretty dry as you can tell. It's just the front bearing, but they're both probably pretty dry. But the capacitor is burnt out in this motor. I mean, it still spins fine if you just give it a little boost. But I don't know what size the capacitor is, and we'll check that out in a little bit here. No oil ports because it's a seal bearing. Okay, see the speedster on. <laughs> Here's what it sounds like not sitting on the table. Sometimes it'll start up on its own just because it'll be like in between phases or something. Like the rotor's in the perfect spot where it'll kind of bounce by itself and manage to get going. Tell you the honest truth, I don't really know how it really does that. I do, but not enough to know how to explain it. Let's go for another one here. Holy crap! First time I ever got it twice in a row. Again! Oh, there we go, now. Now you get to see what it does. See how much the lights dim, if you notice? Notice how it bounces there a little bit when you first plug it in? Oh, didn't do it that time. Try right there. See that? So it went backwards and then it went forwards and then it just caught. Interesting. The capacitor is dead. It's not like it's partially working. I tested it. It's completely shorted out. Don't go that time. Come on, baby. There she goes. Definitely lots of use on those bearings. Uh, anyways, she's starting to get warm now. 
doesn't really like to be around without a capacitor for too long. Although I don't think it hurts to cap start motor to run it without it, like as long as it's spinning. But, I don't know, it seems to get warm fast. I guess they probably all do, but check out this capacitor now. Hopefully you guys can tell me what size of capacitor it is because I'd really like to know. Oh, 200 to 240. Holy crap, it tells me right there. I didn't even notice. I could just go buy one tomorrow. I'd like to get verification though. I'm pretty sure that's microfarads. Like that's like 200 to 240 microfarads. Yeah, something on there. Made in USA. Hmm. Well, I'll have to find a capacitor for it and take another video of it. But, I've got more electric motors to video. So thanks for watching.